I abide in you, Lord, and I wait upon your word. When I am down, when I am down, you always comfort me. In this world of trouble and tribulation, I've chosen not to fear. I've chosen not to fret. All I'm gonna do is rest in you God is my refuge God is my strength Of every present help in trouble God is my refuge God is my strength help in trouble God is my refuge God is my strength of every present help in trouble you are faithful you are awesome you are my present help in trouble. God is my refuge. God is my strength. Of every present help in trouble. Oh, of every present help in trouble. Yes, he is. Of every doesn't help in trouble Ooh. Amen. Amen. God is our refuge and strength. Hallelujah. A very present help in time of need. That's right. And we welcome you to another episode of Just Like Him. We believe that God's word is going to bless you mm. and speak to you and truly encourage you to live a victorious life. Yeah. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. God is truly our refuge and our strength. He is our very present help in time of trouble. Are you going through a troubled situation today? Maybe you're afraid of something and something fearful is about to happen. You know, I want you to declare this. Open your mouth and declare this. God is my refuge and God is my strength. He is my very present help in time of trouble. Say that out as many times as you can, because you know what? There is power in speaking God's word. And God, He promises to protect you in whatever situation you are in, mm. because He He loves you. Right. That's His promise to us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, wherever you go, you can be assured that God's protection is all around you. Yeah. You know, we live in a world today where 
there is uncertainty about you know protection and things like that people don't have an assurance mm. of whether they're going to be safe around and things like that but as a child of god there is an assurance given to us in the word that you can have this protection all around you yeah. no matter where you go mm. and the song that we sang comes from the scripture in psalm 46 yeah we can go to psalm 46 it's a beautiful psalm over there let's uh, start reading from verse 1 verse 1 says god is our refuge and strength he mm. says god is a refuge and strength and he says the next part a very present help in trouble yeah a very present help in trouble today you might be in a troubling situation maybe everything around you has gone wrong and everything is just it's just gone to pieces but god says here he is a very present help in trouble yeah what an awesome word that is it's amazing he is very present in time of trouble sometimes we tend to think that in trouble god is far away from us and he is um, well we can't reach god at this point you know mm. it's it's hopeless but god wants you to know from his word that he is your refuge and strength right in that trouble that you're facing he wants to protect you and bring you out of that mess and out mm. of that trouble yeah that's the kind of god we serve in the bible we see so many times how god protected his people from so many perilous situations i mean i'm thinking of right now the children of israel it's a story in the book in the old testament how god protected them from many plagues mm. in egypt and he kept them safe and you know because they believed in god and they served him he protected them um and you know i'm thinking of you know whatever situation you are in maybe it's a sickness condition condition and you know god says i desire to protect you from any kind of plagues that are happening maybe it's going around in your neighborhood or in the city that you are in some mm. plagues are you know going around you can say lord jesus in your word you have promised to bless my food and my water and to take sickness away from my dwelling from my mm. presence and god he keeps his word he does. if he could protect the children of israel then mm. and in the new testament it talks about he is the same yesterday today, today and, forever. and forever amen He's that's right he's the same right. god he loves you and he will protect you yeah and wherever you go around in your life wherever yeah. you are you can have this assurance that god is protecting you he right. is a refuge and your strength mm. there's another place i'm just going to refer to it in the scripture that tells us about god in psalm 37 39 it says that the last part of it says that god is our strength in the time of trouble yeah so let's l just examine both these verses and see it says god is a very present help in time of trouble and the second part says that god is our strength in the time of trouble yeah two very important things we need when we are in trouble i mean we need help for sure yeah right sometimes you don't know what decision to make and god says i'm going to help you and then the second thing you notice about um trouble is that it tries to um make you feel weak mm. right that's what trouble does yeah. right it makes you feel weak it, ta it it's like as if all your strength is gone that's sometimes what you feel mm. in trouble overwhelming yeah overwhelming you don't know what to do in your own it's like your mind sometimes you feel like it's fainting but mm. god says he is your strength in the time of trouble yeah. the time that you're facing trouble he wants That's to help right. you he wants to be your strength mm. what Remember encouragement that is when um, the children of israel they were faced with a situation when they were fleeing from egypt and god told them to come out of egypt and he said he would lead them so they came to this the red sea this place and so the egyptians are behind them and the red sea is in front of them mm. moses is leading them yeah right and on all the other sides we see there are mountains but god and and moses he cries to the lord and he says lord help us the red sea is in front of us and the egyptians are chasing us from behind and god tells moses i have given you an authority the rod use it and part the red sea mm. see i'm i'm just so i'm thinking about how you know god is amazing he will speak to us in troubled times mm. sometimes we are the ones that need to listen yeah when god is speaking he always speaks that's right and so god told moses part the red sea and he lifted up his rod 
and he parted the Red Sea. And if he hadn't done that, they would have been in trouble mm. and in a mess. But because he obeyed God, God will give us instruction when we're in the time of trouble and we need to listen to him. And Moses parted the Red Sea and the children of Israel were able to cross over mm. and all their enemies were drowned in the sea. Because sometimes in trouble times, we, because we're thinking so much of the trouble, we forget to hear the voice of God. Yeah. And if Moses hadn't listened to the voice of God, don't know what would have happened to the children of Israel. Yeah, we, we cry out to the Lord in times of trouble, Lord, save me, Lord, help me. And then you should stop and think, Lord, you're speaking to me right now. I'm going to mm. listen. I'm going to take instruction. Yeah, it's yeah. very important. In fact, when you're in troubled situations, that's the time that these bold promises ought to come out of your mouth. Yeah. Like, for example, what we saw, God is our refuge and strength, very present help in time of trouble. Yeah. So when you're faced with a troubling situation and you, you, you want to just start saying all these words, you know, it's hopeless, it's done, I'm, I'm finished. When you feel like saying those, immediately stop and say, no, God, you said in your word mm. that you are a very present help in trouble. Mm. And wait on yeah. the Lord. He wait on him. will speak to you. Mm. He will guide you. Wait on him simply means yeah. to obey him. Mm. You know, say, Lord, what do you want me to do? Mm. And he does speak to us. Yeah. He will speak clearly to us. Yeah, that's very important. And you, very, it's very important that we begin to proclaim promises during mm. the time of trouble. We constantly, we talk about this thing where we need to say the promises of God out of our mouth, right? There's so many promises in the Bible, but mm. it, when it gets into your heart and your mouth, then only are you going to see the, the power and the effect of it, yeah. right? It's like, um, you know, when you're playing an instrument or something, you have a book in front of you and you have all these chords and all these um, things right in front given to you. Yeah. But it's not going to do any good if it just sits there and waits in the book. Yeah. Unless you take it out from the book and you start applying it to the instrument that you're playing. Yeah. Then only are those, um, the reality of what is in that book going to be alive to you, mm. right? It's going to make a lot of sense once you play it yeah. and begin to use it. It's the same way with God's Word. These promises are there in the Word of God, but if it's just sitting in the Bible, it's not going to do any good. Mm. It's got to come out of there and get into your heart. And the way it gets into your heart is through your mouth. Yeah. That's how it becomes alive to you. That's right. See, this scripture, say, we took one verse, like, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Yeah. Right? So what you can do is, every day you can begin to say words like this. God, you're my very present help in trouble. You can mm. begin to put it and say it over and over again. Even before yeah. a situation arises, a troubled situation, you can constantly keep declaring this so that when the situation comes, you know what to say, you know mm. what to do. Yeah, when you're faced with that trouble, immediately the words that will come out of your mouth is, God, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna fear. You've not given me a spirit of fear. Yeah. You are a very present help in this troubling situation. Yeah. And when you start saying things like that, God can speak to you and, and um, enable you to make the right decision in that trouble. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it's like when you were talking about um, Moses, if he didn't listen to the voice of God, he wouldn't have known what to do. In fact, at that time, uh, just remember, the children of Israel also, they came complaining to Moses mm. and they told him, see what you have done. You have brought us into this place for us to die. You know, we could have died better in Egypt. We yeah. didn't have to come to the Red Sea and die. That's because in times of trouble, they didn't have the Word of God yeah. in their mouth. And Moses had to pay attention. Whom am I going to listen to? Mm. Am I going to hear the voice of God? Or am I going to hear the voice of these people? Yeah. And there'll be times in your life too, where people around you will always try to, you know, stop you from hearing the voice of God and try to say things. But you got to say, no, I'm going to shut those voices. I'm going to hear the voice of the Lord. Mm. And we have to do that very, very important. Yeah. In the time of trouble, that's the time you ought to wait on the Lord. And sometimes when you're in trouble, you can start saying promises. And another thing you can do is begin to pray in the Spirit. Yeah, that's right? a good one. Praying in tongues is, praying in tongues is being filled with the, with letting the Holy Spirit pray through you. It's not your own language, right? It's the language that comes out of your spirit. Mm -hmm. And as you begin to pray in tongues and praying, Sometimes as you are praying, the answer is, it's just beginning, it becomes clear to you. Mm. Or sometimes as you're praying in tongues, um, you're getting refreshed, yeah. right? You're, it's like inside your mind, there is a peace. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right? In the troubling situation, you're beginning to pray in the spirit. Mm, that's because sometimes mm. in our own understanding, we may not, you know, be able to pray enough. I mean, we're very limited sometimes mm. in our language. That's the reason we have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. And when we pray in the spirit, we're directly talking to God. We're talking in His language. Mm. So that's a powerful thing to pray it's, in the spirit. It's really powerful. And I'm reminded of the story of, you know, Jesus, when he was, um, when there was a man in the Bible, he's, it's, it says his name was Jairus. He had mm. a sick daughter. And this was a troubling situation because at this point, she's almost at the point of death. And Jairus somehow comes to Jesus and says, Jesus, please come and lay your hands on my daughter that she might be healed. Yeah. And Jesus said, I'll come. And as they were going, there was another series of events that took place. And as Jesus was going to Jairus' house, the news came that the daughter had died. Yeah. Now see, this is a troubling situation. And we see, I mean, I guess Jairus and everybody around heard this. But you know what's so amazing? Jesus heard the same words of trouble, yeah. right? He heard the same words. But you know what he said? He says it really amazingly. And you can refer to it. It's in Mark chapter 5. And I'm just going to refer to verse 36. It says, As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto Jairus, Be not afraid, only believe. Mm. What an awesome statement. In the time of trouble, Jesus, he immediately spoke words of life yeah. to encourage Jairus. Don't yeah. be afraid, Jairus, only believe. Yeah. And we see that G and because probably Jairus would have wanted to say something, but he doesn't say anything. Mm. But Jesus spoke up. It says, as soon as Jesus heard. As soon as he so, heard the word. I don't think he wanted to give Jairus any time to speak yeah. anything negative. Mm. And also, you notice that Jesus didn't speak to the people who came from Jairus' house. Yeah. And tell them, well, you know, you're putting so much of doubt into Jairus' mind. Go away. You know, he's living by faith. Jesus didn't say that. He encouraged Jairus. And what I love about that is when we're in times of trouble and maybe bad news has just come across your way, Jesus will be the first one to speak to you, mm. comforting words and words of faith. And these words, it says here, be not afraid, only believe. Those are action words. Mm. Jairus had a choice to make. Lord, am I going to be afraid and doubt or am I going to not be afraid? and only believe. Mm. He had a choice to make. He had a choice. And he made the right choice because we find later on his daughter was resurrected. Mm. That's what, that's how we ought to respond in times of trouble yeah. and have the word of God. Maybe, maybe you can start with verses like this, like the way Jesus spoke to Jairus and say, I will not be afraid. Yeah. I'm only going to believe the word of God. Yeah. And then we took this other verse in, in Psalm 46 verse 1, where it says, God is a very present help in trouble. Yeah. So you can turn that around and, and say it over yourself. You can begin to say, God is my present help in trouble. Mm. In this trouble, I know that there is help from God. Yeah. And then you can say another verse that we saw earlier. You can say, God, you are my strength in the time of trouble. Yeah. I'm not going to let this trouble put me um, in a weak position. Yeah. I'm going to say that your strength is going to bring me out of this trouble. Right. You know, you got to begin to say that even if everybody else is talking negative around you, your words ought to be full of life. Because right. if you want the situation to turn around, then it's very important that you speak life. Yeah. So, you know, you may be facing some kind of a troubling situation today. Maybe it's a, you know, like a sickness or some kind of a ailment in your body. And today the Lord is saying that He wants to heal your body. He right. wants to bring healing to your body, mm. whatever sickness it is that you're facing. And you can lay your hands on your body and begin to say words like, Lord, you said in your word that by your stripes I am healed. I receive your healing into my life mm. right now. Yeah. And begin to say words like that. You know, when in, around you you're feeling the pain, but right now the Spirit of God is moving and He is able to heal your body completely. Yeah. 
and set yeah. you free. And He can restore organs that have been damaged yeah. in your body for many years. He can restore those organs and He can bring life to every part of your being. Mm. He created your body and That's He right. can fix it. All you got to do is just say, Lord, I believe you and I know you are my healer. You are Jehovah Rapha. That's one of His names. Jehovah Rapha, mm. the Lord who heals me. And I receive your healing. And so whatever part of your body, you can just lay your hands over it and say, Lord, I thank you that you have restored health mm. to me. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And you know, another amazing thing, as you have believed that word, you can also begin to start praising and thanking God for your healing. Yeah. You know, one of the ways we see that the way people received, there were some people in the Bible who got their healing and just went away. But then there was one man, it says that he came and thanked Jesus, mm -hmm. right? He came and said, thank you for healing me. Right. And the Bible says that man was completely whole because of his thanksgiving. Yeah. So when you receive, you know, words like this, that, that Jesus has healed, immediately you can start rejoicing, start thanking God. I believe praise and worship and thanksgiving really releases the power of God. Yeah. It begins to set you free. Just fill your mouth with praises. You, you can sing songs like, God, you're my very present help in trouble. You can yeah. make it a song. You know, yeah. as you believe the promise, you can start, start singing and rejoicing and say, God, I thank you. Yes, you are my very That's present right. help. Just begin to rejoice in that moment. Mm. In that time of trouble, God will make a way of escape for you. He will bring you out of that mess. You Amen. can believe that today. So today, even as we you know, close the program, we want to pray with you a prayer. And if you're going through a troubling situation, God is very present right now yeah. to help you and to bring you out of that trouble. Yeah. So let's, let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you know, just agree with me even as I pray and believe that God has set you free. Father, I thank you, Lord. In your word, you said that you are a very present help in time of trouble. I thank you, Lord, that your strength is made perfect in time of weakness. Lord, I want to thank you that you're restoring people's hearts right now, Father, restoring their, their minds if it has been, uh, Father, full of fear. You're restoring it back, Lord, in peace, Father. And you're bringing healing right now to troubled minds and troubling situations. And Father, I thank you that your peace is passing all their understanding. We believe it and we agree with them by faith right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Believe that the Lord is your very present help in time of trouble.